Hey, this is Matt once again. We're about to another video and another commentary. This one is for a user named Butch City. This is a Patreon commentary. If anyone's ever interested in requesting any other type of videos or commentaries or any other reviews or anything, you'd either join me on my Patreon or send a request directly via my PayPal. Links will be down in the info box. But he wanted my thoughts, commentary on cooties and let's get into it three two one pressing play and we have the universal logo now i actually enjoy this film i know i'm alone in that a lot of people hate this film including one of my good friends efri despises this film and we just have to agree to disagree because I never really understood the hatred this film got. I think the premise is very interesting, daring, fun, crazy. And I think it's fairly funny. I think the cast do a good job, especially Elijah Wood. Teachers versus murderous zombie type kids with a, a fun sense of humor. Is it a perfect film? No, but yeah, I think this film's entertaining. I would say a bit underrated because this film came and went and no one ever mentions this movie. But yeah, I, I think this film, not nearly as bad as his reputation. And I haven't seen this in a long time, so this would be interesting to watch again. Even has that creepy music, kind of childlike music. Well, not anymore, but it did for a bit. Well, a little bit. It's a little bit in there. When it when it does have that little childlike music, it reminds me of that scene when you play Dead Space Two, and you're in the kids' school with the little babies that are bombs. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. well, I mean I like chicken as much as the next guy I don't know if we needed this, if we needed really an up close personal way of them killing a chicken and what they do. But at the same time, I'm the same guy that eats chicken a lot, so that's pretty hypocritical of me <laughs> to bitch about. I think this is to make, I want to say chicken nuggets, yeah, which I didn't even think about, I just ate chicken nuggets <laughs> an hour ago, so eh. But in this case, for this plot, it's tainted chicken nuggets, they're tainted with something of a different sort that turns little kids into these murderous zombie type creatures. And the chicken nuggets are going to the schools which I mean hell even when they're not tainted those chicken nuggets will turn you into something because the school chicken nuggets are school food in general is sick as fuck I forgot Lee Winnell had a hand in writing this I did like his film he did recently The Invisible Man Mm. And Elijah Wood Oh that's fun There's a little Chutty doll in there And Godzilla I didn't notice the, the Chutty thing And you get a little bit of Plot development with the radio Damn, six in the morning. (laughs) 
I liked Elijah Wood. I think he's a good actor. I've liked him. I mean, back in the day, he was in The Good Son, among other movies. It's interesting he's been getting more into the horror film genre. I mean, he was the star of Maniac, the remake, which is one of the better remakes. This movie, which I thought was fun. He does say like a horror movie fan. I like, watch interviews. He doesn't seem like one of these people that, oh yeah, I'm a horror fan. They, they don't know shit. He does seem like he knows a bit of the genre, which is nice. And he's genuine in it. Nice little reference. You got a Jaws poster in there. <laughs> I mean, Elijah Wood is mostly known for the Lord of the Rings films, but I'm not really a Lord of the Rings guy. But I liked, I, yeah, I've liked Elijah Wood and other... To me, Elijah Wood, to me, is a more talented version of Tobey Maguire. <laughs> That's just how I view it. I, Elijah Wood, to me, is just seems a more natural, talented uh, Tobey Maguire. I would not have minded him as Spider-Man, to be honest, instead of Toby, to be or not to be Maguire. And so now he's a writer, but he's teaching summer school to pay the bills. I think this big guy was on the TV show Lost. I didn't watch much of the TV show Lost. Elijah Wood was in this other movie, which I liked the premise, but it, it fell apart. And it's called Open Windows. In a way, it was trying to be not plot-wise, but technique-wise. Films like Search Before Searching, where it was all done on windows of a computer. But that plot just went off the fucking grid into ridiculous unbelievable shit ah, I don't want to get into open windows that was a disappointing film <laughs> Sally this is what kids sound like nowadays fuck you mom I mean, let's face it, kids are fucking little twerps nowadays, so I buy these kids being little dipshits. I, just, I like the idea behind this film. School teachers versus murderous, rampaging kids. That's a risky, especially nowadays with schools and the trouble with schools, school shootings, all that stuff. I didn't think this movie would ever get made. It definitely wouldn't get made. But I thought it was, it was risky. It was ballsy. It was a fun premise. And I thought, for the most part, the actors did their jobs well. It went at a good pace. It's only an hour and 20-some minutes. It's not a long movie at all. Of course, you gotta get rid of the cell phone because you gotta have to wait to not have the cell phone to call for help. <laughs> I should have looked up some info about this film, like who directed it and such. Listen, Kenny G, Elijah Wood doesn't want to hear your shit. Just give Elijah Wood his papers, Michael Bolton. That's out of sight. Well, you're out of mind, fuckface.
a rape button. Who the fuck would want to touch you, lady? You look like your face is melting like a goddamn candle. You're probably such a stone cold bitch, your fucking nipples would cut glass, lady. <laughs> I don't mind this actor in certain movies. I forget his name. I mean, the maid. Yeah, but here, I, I remember not mind him in this movie. For Split City, I thought he was going to say Lucy McClain, but that's a different series of movies. I do want to look up real quick, like any, like who the director was of this film. I should have done this before. But of course, I mean, the startup here, building a bit of Elijah Wood's character, the environment, meeting the other characters, the school before the incident that's going to have the shit hit the fan. I think that's Lee Winnell, the writer of the film. And that's Rain Wilson. That's his name, Rain Wilson. Uh, directed by Jonathan Milat and Terry Mernian. Dual real. <laughs> it's, it's, I guess it's making me chuckle. <laughs> I mean, it's just, just so silly. It's fucking stupid. It's just making me laugh. A horror comedy without enough of either. Fairly content to steep by on this intriguingly oddball premise. I thought there was definitely enough horror in this. I mean, with some of the fucking stuff the kids do. <clears throat> Fuck you laughing at, dick. Yeah, dud, shut the fuck up. Let's see. Okay, the director did that new film, Betty. That's the one where Kevin James is the white supremacist villain. So he's writing a book that's like Christine, but with a boat. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't made that movie, Christine with a boat. I'm really surprised they haven't made that. Oh, that's right. Elijah Wood was in The Faculty. I forgot about that. Oh, this is where it's going to... It's, it's going to get bigger and bigger. Damn, those old school TVs, so used to flat screens, it's, it takes me bad to look at like the more fat TVs back there. Yeah, everything's more like flat screen. 
Fuck, I can't even remember the last time I saw a chalkboard in real life. Foot, pu foot pills do you pop in? Ritalin or something? I don't think you're supposed to be talking about religion, lady, in school. You're right, it doesn't allow you to, so shut up, lady. They don't call you dickhead. They have the same Mr. Rogers. Twit? Sally, I do see these tears acting like this in real life. How about I punch you in the face? And knock your fucking teeth out and shove each one like a pebble up your ass. But he's supposed to be an unlikable kid. They're doing that on purpose. So they, they did their job. That's fucking desperate to want the kids to read your fucking novel. Why the fuck do you want your t the kids to read your fucking novel? You really, <clears throat> it's a bad call, Ripley. It's a bad call. Oh, this is when the shit's going to hit the fan. Yeah, get this motherfucker first. Ooh, shit. That's a good effect. Pulled her hair out, piece of her fucking skin. <clears throat> also, interesting idea that it doesn't affect the adults, it only affects the kids of a certain age. So, I guess if you're too old, or I think too young as well, I believe. No, I might mean just too old. <coughs> That's a nice effect of the piece of skin hanging off the cheek. That's what you did, dipshit, for being a dickhead. Little fuck. Fuck that kid. Kid's a little asshole. Because you're just going to get hot. I'm sorry. Uh, mushrooms, whatever the hell he's eating. <laughs> Sally, the best day so far, man. It's exciting.
<laughs> I like that. You kidding? I wanted to give that kid a high five. That other kid was a dick. My cinnamon is a heli, Elijah. But would, wouldn't Elijah have realized seeing that fucking mark on her head? Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, this is when this starts. It doesn't take too long. I mean, we got 20 some minutes and then shit's really hitting the fan. <laughs> man, you can't shoot hoops for shit, can you, man? Oh man, nice usage of slow mo there, spreading this disease, just scratching everybody. One becomes two, two becomes four, and so on and so forth. Just scratching everybody, making them turn again and again. The fuck do you run into, kid? Get the fuck out of there, man. They ain't the three ninjas. Get the fuck out of there, man. God damn it. It's your ass, Mr. Teacher Man. Sorry, I'm not saying much. I'm, I haven't seen this film in a while, and uh, yeah, th this is a a ballsy thing. Having little kids, killing all the adults, chewing them up one by one, tatting all in a group. <laughs> and the blood just fucking flying, man. Stop Stop fucking with their phones I think the kids are going ape shit That's your phrase you should be saying What the hell is Kenny G here going to do? <clears throat> Your ass is grass, man. This is what you get for being an idiot. This is what you get for being a fucking moron, dumbass. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Get some Day of the Dead shit here. Dawn of the Dead. Tearing them to pieces. Ripping their guts in. That's a pretty damn gore. Effects are not that bad in this movie.
about time, Rain Wilson. Look around your fucking surroundings, man. <laughs> nice pan out. Take your fucking porno mustache and get the fuck out of there, man. <laughs> We've all wanted to do that to the vice president, but you just can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Ring Wilson's doing a good job here showing a little bit of fear able to hit some of these little twerps ass <laughs> fucking clotheslines them I like that little tidbit there not tidbit but get in the goddamn door man shit At least they do contact the police. But the fact is, is that this has happened in a lot of places and it ain't gonna fucking matter. Yeah, we know those kids are on the goddamn, I can't even say cocaine them. Maybe this is what the kids act like after they saw Ensor's shitty movie. This is what the fans of Ghostbusters felt like when they saw the 2016 movie. Come on, cop, don't be that fucking stupid. But it's meant to be a silly horror comedy. Finger looking good. <laughs> His fucking fingers off. And that's the way it is. Got that fucking finger fries in there, man. I mean, to me, the movie kind of delivers what it promised. <laughs> he accidentally threw the fucking thing at the other guy. Yeah, fucking help him then. Yeah, a bit too late for that, Elijah. Nothing you can do. That's the thing with commentaries. I'm not sure if I should really explain everything that's happened on the screen because people might not know what's going on or... I don't know. Doing the best that I can with it because I don't know much information about the making of the film. It didn't really go into theater, so it didn't really do much for box office. <laughs> 
But the movie goes. I mean, once it starts, it's been going pretty fast so far. Little tip munch on a girl in a little locker there. Teachers run around trying to get to safer spaces in the school. Fucking crazy bitch. I don't know, the kids, maybe the kids are going through puberty, I don't know. And somehow Lee Winnell know. Well, I mean, he is a teacher, so to be fair, you, you would think as teachers they would know a little bit of something to figure out maybe what's going on. And yeah, I, I think I was saying this before, I like the idea that it's something that the adults can't get infected with, only little kids, only to a certain age. I thought that made it a little bit different and interesting, a little bit more unique compared to other ones. Home of the Fighting Roosters. <laughs> what do you have to offer except to write a book about a guy who fucks a boat he doesn't fuck a boat well wow, total lockdown that's weird considering what's going on now <laughs> That's a little rough as Lord of the Rings call him the Hobbit. I thought this this actress doing a pretty decent job too, this blonde lady. She's not too bad. I, did, I liked her look. That was what made me laugh. Her look when Elijah was like, are you fucking serious, man? You think about your fucking book in this situation? Are you fucking... Just the look she was giving, like... Like... <laughs> it's just... I'm trying to think of, like, other movies that dealt with little kids that were death machines. I mean, you had... Oh, I, re I reviewed a couple of them... Uh, the Children in the early 80s a review of that and I think that was 1980 or so The Children was alright I didn't care for the ending of the film but that was when a bus of kids there's this gas that envelopes the bus and it changes the kids so what happens is they grab people and burn them I thought they did a 
they did this thing where at the, I don't know if I want to give away the end of that. I, I say in the review, if you want to feel free to check out the review. It's a decent film. I wouldn't say I loved it. I like this more than the children. Uh, they also had that film kind of the opposite mom and dad where that case it was the parents a lot of people i know my friend every hated that film too a lot of people did i liked that film i thought it was i didn't fun interesting quirky i would say i liked this film more than mom and dad but i thought that was a i would say that's a decent double feature mom and dad and this but again i know i'm alone in that a lot of people hated those movies Maybe an interesting concept can go a long way with me. When I see so many of the same thing over and over again. Let's see, so... I mean, not in the same way, but you had The Good Son with Elijah Wood. Here's Lee Winnell explaining how it doesn't affect adults the same way as kids. See, jokes like that didn't work. I'm wearing gloves. No, you're not. And he was looking through the fluids to determine that Elijah Wood will be okay. See, I'm not going to sit here and say all the jokes work. Like that joke, didn't really find that funny. Didn't think it worked. But I, I still think the premise, I think the cast work well. I think it goes at a fast enough pace. And there's still enough moments I'm chuckling. And again, I do think the premise for me goes a long way with it. So I still enjoy the film. <laughs> I like this little montage of the death gasm version of a playground. There's like blood in all the places you would have outside recess at a tether ball made of a human head. I think someone's playing jump rope with intestines. I deal with little kids. I find that very ballsy. Oh shit. They ain't gonna hear you from that far, fucking far away, man. Try calling her or something if you know. I didn't, they're not gonna fucking far away. <clears throat> I didn't, they're not gonna hear you. Do something else. That's why I don't understand. like the the thing I read earlier is apparently the synopsis of the critics. They say there's not enough horror in this. I think this is a pretty horrific scene. So you affected the baby, and now the baby is a zombie. And the baby killed the mom. That's not something that's normally done, but that's fairly inventive.
I thought that was a little bit of a horrific scene. It's, but, and it's done mainly by sound effects. I thought that was well done. But here we have them being chased more. I like the set design of the school. All the stuff littered outside the hallways. So it's not just a bare hallway. It makes it a little less boring of the, the set design. Rain Wilson finally takes one out. Fire extinguisher. Fatality. Had to be done. At least someone finally did it. See, there's humor in the film. It's a silly film, but I like that there's some nice moments like this. Where Rain Wilson, he's not just 100% goofy. He's actually takes the time to quietly go in there and collect his thoughts. Because it's not something that you would just shake off in two seconds. So, I like that bit of the writing. You know, there's a lot of silly, goofy stuff, but there are a couple real moments like that. Oh shit. Door out the window. Throw out the window. Throw her ass out the fucking window. Now close the door and lock it. Yeah. And yeah, not all the characters work. I don't care for the guy who's the prissy he guys. And the movie's trying to make oh is he gay, is he not gay? I don't give a fuck. I don't care about that character. And even the other girl who's a bit more of the bitchy whatever. Fucking guy from Lost tripping on shrooms that seeing goddamn shit talking them. What's that? Don't see a birder singing and dancing them like better off dead. But I like this. Rain Wilson's playing this a bit real. Part of me is like, would you really give a shit about this with all that's going on? I just, on the flip side, do you want to keep thinking about this kid you killed that you had to kill? Or do you want to just worry about the more menial, petty stuff? You probably want to worry about the petty stuff so you don't go insane worrying about, oh, I just killed this kid because I had to. Great, maybe I'm giving it too much thought, but that's what you think about with movies. You know, if the door swings both ways, if you think of one way, maybe it's the other way too.
That brain, that brain, that brain is fucking gooey. Jesus Christ. So this guy had a Lee Winnell's character had a spike in his brain when he was a kid. No wonder the tear is so fucked up. Sorry, I'm listening to the dialogue. Sorry about that. This sort of double science talk explaining how virus is dangerous if you haven't gone through puberty. If you have gone through puberty, then you're fine. Oh, yeah, I thought that was an interesting idea. I'm sure you're going to the science is total bullshit, but I mean, it's a horror movie. Sometimes I'm fine with being open to crazy, loose ideas. Sometimes. Got about half an hour left, so there you go. Movie doesn't go that too slow of a pace. How they turn off the lights? Not got the power. How they knock out the power? They're animals. Who the? F But the janitor came out of nowhere. Move your asses, guys. Move it, move it, move it. God, sorry, now I was supposed to be doing commentary. I'm just watching the movie now. Sorry, it's been a while since I've seen this film. And yeah, so far it holds up to me. I enjoyed it when I first saw it years ago. I still enjoyed I'm still enjoying it now. Don't mind the color scheme, the little bit of green that you see here, like bluish and green. Stop being that optimistic, lady. Rune die on me. Well, we ain't dead yet. Just tick them. The little tears tick them.
Find your work coming up with the plan. Listen to him. He's a hobbit. He knows about fitting the tight spaces. Don't mind the piece of music as they're planning. Take one damned yes. Well, to be honest, the, the blonde girl's even smaller than Elijah Wood, so it wouldn't have to be just Elijah Wood. The blonde girl could do it, too. That was cute for the, that little girl to do. Kind of like the schoolyard thing. Oh, you got a cootie shot. I mean, it's just her being a little bit silly, but a certain bit of kindness. That was a nice little bit there. That's the thing when you look at ventilation shafts in movies, uh, you always wonder, could anyone really fit into a ventilation shaft? From time to time, Rain Wilson's comedy is a bit iffy. I mean, that, that scene before being pissed off at Elijah Wood over the walkie talkie, that was pretty stupid. Oh, you're a writer? Well, let me write my own. Again, not all the humor works. That's one of my nitpicks flaws with the movie. But first of all, I like the look of the film. I like the color scheme. You get some greens, you get some blues, you get some reds. I don't know where all the fucking lights coming from, but it's cool to see. So again, some of these characters, I, I'm fine with some of these characters here getting killed off. Sorry about that, Buck City. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what else to say. I'm not really that good with commentaries. It's hard to keep talking. I mean, 2014, I'm trying to remember what all was happening in 2014 when it concerned horror movies. I mean, movies in general, it was a lot of bad ones. You had the Michael Bay Ninja Turtles film he produced. You had Robocop reboot. You had... What the fuck else did you have? I'm trying to remember. Maybe I'll look that up by 2014 horror films. A little bit of a suspense scene here. Hide in the vents, trying not to make noise. I don't mind that composition of that shot. And again, the lighting, I think, helps the shot. Thank you. 
Yeah, sorry about that. I'm scratching my head because I shouldn't because I got a fucking sunburn on it. <laughs> of course, Pop goes a weasel. That figures. That fucking song playing. But again, stuff like that are nice little touches. Well, this... At one point, this said 2014... So was this 2014 or 2015? I, I had a world premiere Sundance Film Festival January 2014 and video on demand 2015. See, I hate that. So, would you label it a 2014 or 2015 film? Because, like, okay. Again, that's what pisses me off about that. So, is it a 2014 or a 2015 film? Fuck. Anyway, whatever. Well, I and DB and Wikipedia both say 2014, so I guess I'll put 2014, but technically, really, it should be a 2015 film, but whatever. I mean, other films around that, I mean, I enjoyed As Above, So Below. I thought that was really good. If Fouls, I didn't mind. I had some issues with it, though. Del Deliver Us From Evil, I thought was really good. I really enjoyed it. A cop version. Like a cop movie mixed in with an exorcism film. I thought the the main actor, Eric Bana, was really one of his better roles, honestly. That's just my opinion. Annabelle, I didn't see. Baba Duke, still haven't seen it. Starry Skies, I remember that being s shitty. Fucking loudmouth little kid bitch. Hey, get the tiny boy and get the fuck out of there. Come on, man. You little fucking twerp kids. Do some John McClane shit. And come out the crows. Get together. Have a few laughs. The little kids tipped him through a fucking field goal. While it's on fire. It's just as funny. Elijah was the student battling stuff in a school and the faculty. Now here is the opposite. He's the teacher. I didn't even think about that. That is kind of interesting. I like the faculty. I remember having fun with that. Let me get a drink real quick. Sorry, I know this is a pretty boring commentary. I apologize for that. I mean, I'm glad do, I'm fine doing commentaries. I kind of do wonder what do people expect if they expect someone to keep talking 24 seven throughout the entire thing or just comment what's on screen or what the deal is. Do 
dude fucking man up or shut up. That's a character you should kill off. This guy here. He's like, oh, I'm calm, I'm calm. Just, you, you, you're a character that needs to die. <laughs> yeah, don't mind the sort of like yellow light in this. I'll be right back, sorry, one second. Being sorry about that. Just had to use the restroom and I did wash my hands. Because I don't want to get the cooties like in this movie. <clears throat> Come on, don't make out at a time like this. Yeah, about 20 minutes left in the movie without the end credits, so. Yeah, do I think this is a great, awesome movie? No. Nah. Do I think it's an entertaining film? Yeah. Positives. I like Elijah Wood. For the most part, I don't mind Rain Wilson. The, the lady with the blonde hair, I don't mind her either. I think... There's some good lighting. It's a nicely shot film. Like the little montages of the kids in the playground of death. The I thought the script has a couple decent moments in its writing. Has a couple good bits of gore. I like the premise of the film. Not all the jokes work. Would have liked a bit more frenetic pacing around this area. But with that said, yeah, I don't think it's that bad of a film. Well, at least they didn't go full on set, so at least there was some bit of common sense there. <laughs>
I like that. So Elijah Wood being a stand-up guy, say, hey. I like that. It, it makes Elijah Wood's character a bit of a stand-up guy. I like that. <laughs> Damn, they took people's heads and now I'm putting lipstick on the fucking heads like they would a doll. Yeah, take these pills, you little twats. <laughs> nice reference, Commando. Suiting up montage. Build up to that. Okay, that's a nice... Well, he is a PE teacher, so he probably would be the guy to reference that. Just find whatever they can get their hands on. <laughs> Look at that, an actual montage. I like that. I miss montages. These type of montages are fun to me. <laughs> Go for the face, it's the weed spot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm uh, sorry. I haven't been <laughs> lost once again into the movie. And yeah, I don't give a shit about the guy who he just said now he's gay or the bitchy lady. Those those characters need to kill. <laughs> yeah, the story stayed too way too long. Let's go, let's get some ass. Now you got your team of teachers ready to take on these little twerps. I love that kind of weapon. We're shooting these baseballs at their faces. Fucking weapon definitely works in this aspect, in this situation. He gave Elijah Wood a hot tip. There should have been a hot tip with like a knife on it or something. Some scissors or something. Boom, right in the mouth. Nice. Yeah, you guys can move a little bit faster. Come on. There you go, at least Elijah got one.
Well, feeders, everybody had to be right fucking there. Yeah, a little bit of martial arts here with the janitor. That's pretty cool. <laughs> here we do a big battle on the schoolyard. Some nice hockey action. We got one person smacking zombies with symbols. We got Elijah Wood with the hockey stick. The one guy throwing this like whip thing with something on the end of it. fun little scene here yeah so I don't really have much intriguing commentary to mention this is a movie that kind of speaks for itself there's really nothing deep or pontificating about a movie like this it kind of speaks for, like I said it speaks for itself yeah I'm, I'm not going to say all every single Joe worse but I think it works fairly well. Rain Wilson doing the right thing. At least, despite his imperfection of a character, he's a bit of a noble character trying to do the right thing. And Grad, there are a couple moments where Rain Wilson's humor didn't work. I think this is one of his better roles, Rain Wilson. And we're supposed to think Rain Wilson died here. And way almost seems as if this would be the end of the movie, but nope, not quite yet. Still got about 10 minutes ago. <clears throat> I do think a couple of these characters could have been killed off a bit more. I didn't like the the effeminate guy and the, the bitchy lady. Like those could have been gone. Could have got some good death scenes out of them. Nothing about what I don't remember what happened to the janitor. Maybe we'll see him later. <laughs> oh, I think it's that little asshole kid, the Patriot, again. Oh, it's like he doesn't have much of a face, right? Ah, damn. Most of his jaw, that's that's not that bad of an effect. Yeah, that little fucker deserved it. <laughs> you gotta stop the little shitty kid face first in the floor, in the ground. 
then backed his ass up, got him hooked to the fucking bumper, and slammed his ass to a tree. And that little asshole deserved it. So that was satisfying. Again, that that sign joke. Because the guy said, at least it's not four chicken. Then the sign to the new town. At least we're not four chicken. Again, some of that humor is a bit cringeworthy. Like, come on, really? That's the best you can do? Maybe Lee Wan now could have, you know, or someone else, someone else could have had a, one or two more passes on the script. Take stupid stuff like that out. Come on. We can do better than that. I said we did. I don't think this is a perfect movie. I do have issues with it, but I have fun with it. Like for the reasons I mentioned, I don't mind some of the cast, the premise, the door, the pacing, some of the color, the lighting. And you know, the, the fun premise goes a long way for me. And I like Elijah Wood. I think he does a good job at it. Of course, this showcasing that it's not just in this town, it's various towns this has happened. I think mean, a bit weird nowadays with the whole thing going on and then seeing this stuff going on. They even use that word, the P word, that rhymes with epidemic. Wow. <laughs> Golly. Oh shit, get the fuck out of there. <clears throat> Steve, one fucking school of kids being little assholes, now you got another one. Then you walked to the wrong fucking place. I can't see shit, Captain. <laughs> well, I think they got somewhere where you have the same chicken nuggets. So there you go. You need your nuggets. There you go. Obviously, the remnants of a birthday party was the Five Nights at Freddy's. You figure at least some of these adults would have taken care of some of these fucking kids. Put their weight on it. That fucking figures in a giant fucking indoor playground. <laughs> Just some interesting color scheme there with a big old ball pit. Now, 
Now, how the hell did he know they were there? <laughs> I just thought maybe this ending would be a bit more complicated or a bit more action to get out of this area. Maybe a little bit. Maybe they didn't have the budget for it. Because this was not a bit theatrical multi. You know, 20, 30 million dollar budget flight. It's a low budget film. I've given you tips and F for fuck you. That sounds like something I would say. <laughs> So Brimmers is super soaking them. They ain't water. <laughs> Fucking burns their ass up. I think <laughs> yeah, I don't mind this music either. Rain Wilson, Elijah Wood, Allison Pill, Lee Winnell, Peter Kwan. Is that who I think it is? Let me check one second. Well, wait a minute. That's not who I think it is, is it? One second. Oh, huh. Holy shit it is. I did not know that janitor is Peter Kwan, the guy who played Rain in Big Trolo China. He was also Eddie Tan in The Golden Child with Eddie Murphy. Wow, I did not know that. You learn something new every day. Huh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I did not know that. That's interesting. So, I do yeah, apologize. This isn't the best commentary. Is a lot of times me just watching the film again because I haven't seen this film in a while. But I didn't since it probably came out, well, really 2015. So it's been about five years. So it's not a film I rewatch over and over again. But I remember seeing it, enjoying it, still enjoy it. Does it have its flaws? Sure. Would like would not have minded a bit more action. Maybe some of the other characters get killed off, like the the guy who you find out is gay, the bitchy lady. Some of those others could have been killed off. Not all the jokes work. But I guess I got some chuckles out of it. I like the premise, the idea behind it. 
teachers fighting these ravenous kids amongst the school. I like some of the lighting in the film. I thought some of the acting. I think it's one of Rain Wilson's better roles. I like Elijah Wood. Nice to see Peter Kwan from Bitchful Little China, The Golden Child in there. The music's not that bad. Has some fun moments of gore. And yeah, the, the premise is, a, it's a fun premise. It's a short movie. I mean, it's an hour and 20 some minutes. So it goes by fairly quickly. And yeah, I think Cooties is not a classic, but I think it's a fun enough film. So I don't mind the movie. I know some people hate it, teach their own. But with that said, thanks once again, Buck City. That's the username who had the request. I apologize if the it's not much. But thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.